thanks for bumping into the channel. I knew you'd find me eventually. Hot Rides and Customs is the name of the game, and we are trying to restore these cars on a budget with simple tools. So if that sounds like something you want to watch, stick around. We're fixing to go restore an old car right now, simple tools, and get it done. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, follow, and head on over to our website, SpankysHotRods.com, where we have all kinds of cool merchandise. Anyway, let's get this thing started. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We're fixing to make a couple of really, really hard parts, and we're going to save ourselves a lot of money over buying something over the counter. Stay tuned. Here we go. rocker to the right to my right your right over here is the bad area and I cut it back all the way to the good area over here where it's solid and that is just where the door jam had rusted it out so now we've got to make this piece you can see it's got some bends and a curve and this is just a portion of it and that's where it's going to go. So let's uh, let's mark mark this out, make us a tape pattern, and make this piece up. Put a piece of tape on, and then I've gone and I marked all of my bends here. Now some of these bends will be on the back side, and some of them won't. Marked it all the way around, and now we need to go transfer this to our metal, and go from there. All right, so there's the tape that we just marked all of our bends on, and I've transferred those to a piece of steel, and now it's time to uh, make a test bend and see if we're close. All right, so this piece here is a small piece that was cut off of the rocker. I didn't cut all the way off this way, and I didn't cut all the way into the door jam. I only cut off the area that needed to be bent. All right, so I transferred my tape that we just made right here to a small piece, and I made this piece right here, took it over to the brake, and practiced to see what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna lay this on top of it and show you just how close we are. Don't know if you can see that or not, but that's pretty darn close. Now this steel that I'm using is a little bit thicker than the factory steel that Porsche used, but that's okay. All right, so now I've got to duplicate this piece in a long piece, and that should be enough to repair the rocker, and then a little extra just in case we find something else on the other side. All right, just a rough test fit. And that's overlaid, so it'll actually go in a little bit tighter. And back here is where we've got to do a little bit more of adjustment. It tapers back and follows uh, back into the quarter a little bit. So if I, I'll shut the door and test fit it that way, and you can see it's probably going to be sticking out. You see how it's sticking out just a little bit right there. And, of course, it has to be pushed in, the other piece has to be cut off, but you can see that we'll have to put a little slice in right there and start bringing this in just a hair to where it matches the quarter. So now that we've got the rocker piece made, the next step I've got to make is this part of the quarter to tie in to the uh, SC flares that I put on. And I didn't weld it down here because I knew I was gonna have to replace that. And it was all rusted out, all right here, and then up underneath, all where that door jam had rusted. So all of this rust in this area right here is just from the tire throwing crap back here in the back, right on the latch, and rusting out that piece right there. We've already replaced that. 
So now we gotta replace the damage. So let's keep at it. All right, more unused parts. So got all the parts made. Now we have to do is install them in order. But first we've got to prime the back of them with some weld through primer. All right, so now I've got the piece of rocker cut out. That's bad. Now we just need to uh, probably trim a little bit more. All right, so it's cut out on the black lines. And now this is the part that we need to go make. So let's take our pattern, find some metal and get the part made. All right, this is our pattern. We need to get this cut out. We need to tip the edges like you've seen me do many a time on other videos. I may just fly through that. And then this is the portion of the pattern that folds inward into the door jam. You can see how it's buckled up on the edges when we try to lay it flat. That's because this area right here is gonna need to be shrunk with the shrinker portion of the shrinker stretcher, or we can do it uh, hammer and dolly. There's many different ways to do it. Let's check it out. You've seen me do all this before, so I may skip through some of this. Let's get it done. All right, so we're tipping the edge. Going through it one last time. Let's go check it over here and see. Let's go check this bend out on the back back here. We may need to adjust that just a little bit to make it fit the rocker. But that's the pattern that we just cut out. We've tipped the edge and we've dollied it. And then we put our crease back in there and got everything square. Let's go see if it fits. All right. What do you think about that, guys? We gotta cut this out, but what I'll do, I'll remove the yellow tape and I'll cut the back panels out as I'm putting this new panel in. That way it keeps everything straight. Gotta curl it around when we get finished. This bend right here is just a little bit off. This part up here is all rigid because we put this bend right here in there around the door jam. I showed you guys making this, but I did not show you installing it too much. Sometimes I get carried away and I don't get to put everything on video. So I just hit it with an 80 grit. This down here doesn't need any filler, but just some of these areas up here did need some filler. All right, so there we go. Got the piece made from the pattern that we cut out and it's ready to weld in. So this should be a perfect quarter with flares on it now that we made that. And we did not have to buy no stinking $2,500 rear quarter. We're fixing it as we go. Right now that repair part right there may have cost me a dollar plus a little bit of time. Rocker panel may have cost me a dollar, plus a little bit of time. What's next? Well, guys, if you made it to the end, thanks a lot. Head on over to the website, get yourself a cool Spanky's Hot Rods and Customs t-shirt, or just keep watching the videos. Any kind of support for the channel is much appreciated. See you guys in the next episode. Now get out in the garage and go build something.